Tea, one, one cup, cup at, at a time. time. Wow, one cup at a time yes. indeed. What a week. I mean, Gasparilla last week, and I hear you were uh, having a great time at Gasparilla, weren't you? I might have had a drink or two. Or, or 42. Uh, could be. Could be. <laughs> I lost count after two. Wow. Uh, well, That's a good thing. It. Absolutely. So we have some special guests here on the panel. Yes. We're back again with... Hi, I'm Nico, the general manager here at Hamburger Mary's in St. Pete. And I'm Dina Cass. I'm the show director here in St. Petersburg at our Hamburger Mary's. Absolutely. And we have back again. Ta-da! It's Carrie, right? It is Carrie. Carrie, what did you do? I'll, I'll tell you what. We were just so busy last week and had a lot of events going on. And I'll tell you one thing about Tampa Pride. It's coming along great. Uh, we had a great battle of the houses. And I'll tell you, Battle of the Houses is something I've never seen. I've seen it on Harris's Burning, if you're familiar. And the newest version, of course, is Pose. And it, they had a couple houses that were competing with their voguing and fashions and design and dance. And uh, the winner was uh, Power Infinity, the House of Power, the House of Infinity, not Power. But it was a great, great, great time, I tell you. Yeah, what. I think we Al, had a good Al house. was there, right? Al, Al was, was it? There. Yes, he was a judge, too. Hey, Al, I know you're watching. Hey. <laughs> but anyway, everything's going good out there for us, so we're getting everything ready and rolling for Tampa Pride. Awesome stuff. Speaking of Tampa Pride, we've got a lot of Tampa Pride stuff we're actually doing, right? Absolutely. Oh, big part of it. Already, we, we filmed the house, that party, and we filmed uh, the zoo event. That was amazing. Zoo, you're going to yeah. see all this on Channel 125 in just about a week and a half. We're going to start our countdown videos. We'll be releasing a video every single day right up until Tampa Pride. And it'll be all these people are going to be featured. And we're still it. looking for sponsors for oh, Tampa absolutely. Pride, right? Yes, we are. Absolutely. Oh, yes. Let's talk a little bit about that. If someone wants to be a part of Tampa Pride as far as sponsorship and get their business out there, how would they do that, Carrie? Well, financially, they can come or in kind or volunteers. If you have a company that wants to volunteer, because we are very busy with over around 45,000 people. It's a busy day, so there's a lot to go through there and a lot to go and have people help. And we give them volunteer shirts. And we have a couple of events before that, too. So these are going to be some fun events coming yeah. up. We have the, you know, the next one up is for, let's see, in our time frame now is Mr. and Miss Tampa Pride. Mr. and Miss Tampa Pride going to be February 24th. At Hamburger Mary's. At Hamburger Mary's over in Brandon. Yep. So Speaking yeah. of Hamburger Mary's in Brandon, and Hamburger Mary's, obviously, we're here in St. Mm -hmm. Petersburg. It's one of the happening places for bingo, right? Bingo yeah. and drag, right? Yep. It, it's every day there's something going on. We have our drag queen charity bingos where we help raise money for uh, local nonprofit organizations. So if you need help uh, to raise money for your help. charity, you need help, well, help. come on in, talk to me or talk to Melanie and we can get you uh, scheduled and set up for a bingo. It's uh, a lot of fun and a great way to help raise some money for the community. Awesome. awesome. Now let's talk a little bit about Hamburger Mary's. There's a lot of things that are out there. A lot of our viewers keep asking questions. What, what is the latest on all the drama? It's still going on. I think it's going to be going on for a while. Unfortunately, uh, there's some stupidity and hatred that's happened towards Hamburger Mary's. Yes, Talk yes. a little bit about um, that, if you could. It, it's, it's very um, frustrating, especially nowadays. You know, it's, it's 2019. You know, discrimination and hate, it, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't exist. You know, there's still people out there in the community, in the world, that are still anti-gay, anti-LGBTQ, and it's very sad. You know, it, it's not like we're we're damaging anything. You know, we're just trying to live our lives like normal human beings, and it's just very frustrating, and irritating, and upsetting that there are people still out there just wanting to to ruin us and destroy us when we're just doing our own thing. We're just minding our own business. You know, so yeah, that's unfortunate. Dick, anybody trying to destroy you? <laughs> <laughs> wow so let's talk a little bit about your you do a show here as well right a lot a lot yeah. of shows what I'm days can stuck you stuck in drag and i can't get out <laughs> <laughs> i'm yeah. here every monday um we have our open stage if you would like to come and enter that we give away 75 dollars every monday at the end of the contest it's going to be 250 dollars to the winner open stage now what is that you can anybody can anybody can enter yeah drag drag yeah oh Fans okay. or sing, or you could put oh. on a wig and come. Oh. You already got the sparkly jacket. Oh, I got it. Right. <laughs> come on down. Ooh, yeah. Wow. 
And then the winner, it's audience applause. So and you, what day is that on? On Monday. Oh, All right. Monday at 8 Get up here and take a gander on a Monday. Yeah. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we have our Sunday brunch. We do Sunday brunch. And then we do Sunday night. And Friday and Saturday, we do two different shows. Check us out on Facebook, Hamburger Mary St. Petersburg. Like us and leave me a comment. Uh, a nice one, right? And that, I don't care. You can uh, leave a mean yeah. one. No, no. Let's, I, let's I got a nice one. one. I don't want to <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, nice leave a nice one. <laughs> yes. You can send me a private message, <laughs> nasty. <I don't> <laughs> <know>. <laughs> like, she like will like come for you. Go yeah. ahead. <laughs> it won't be the first time. Absolutely. <laughs> I just want to say also that that brunch on Sunday, that brunch here, is amazing. We have an ama we have amazing food here. Yeah, amazing let's talk about world. the food. Yeah. We've actually we're gonna show some of the food items here at Hamburger Mary's. We showed it on our last episode, but maybe you're new to we the got show. Food coming? We got yeah. food oh and I know God. you're on a big diet, right? Yeah. So we have right there, um that just got placed down. That's our uh, fried green beans. It comes with a horseranch radish sauce. Fried wow. green beans. We have Yo, our, that's good uh, southern. It's, yes. It's, it's addictive. They're addictive. Green beans are good for you. Yeah. In the um, center there, we have our our staple for Hamburger Mary's. It's right. our own homemade mm. fried mac and cheese balls with a ranch wow. dipping sauce. Oh my god. Uh, they are. I bet you just can't fit two in your mouth. You know? I they're love oh. sauce. Uh, they're <laughs> big balls. Oh, wait, hey. Dick, Dick needs Nicole. some balls. Look. Just Dick loves balls, there. right? And right over there, we have <laughs> our. A lot of people really enjoy tater tots so we said you know why not why not add to the enjoyment you know mm. with our food so we have tater tots and you can get them loaded with cheese and bacon and scallions or just have them playing there with ketchup mm. there's something addictive bacon. there's they're, something they're, addictive yeah. in there because tater we all order addictive. those yeah. we oh, all really? everyone that works here is like crazy comes in orders tots yeah. everybody that must be something new I it's had addictive those oh, we, so yeah we good. added them to our menu what? so uh yeah. you know I and grab them loaded just so oh good. They, loaded. so many orders of tater tots well we can't go without talking about speaking of loaded our loaded uh amy de milo because she is loaded with illness I mean, it's it's really sad. She's been fighting this battle. We're going to talk a little bit about that on the show. Um, it's good. It's bad. It's ugly. It is what it is, and it affects a lot of people, especially in the gay community. It's silicone and silicone poisoning. It's a toxin, and some people have issues with it. Some people don't. Um, the majority of the people that I know do um, have issues. Do Most have people issues. do. We just kind of live through it, you know, a lot of Vicodin, a lot of, you know, just try to make it because it's not like we can just, you know, what, we've got it. We've Absolutely. Amy, we want you to get better and get back here yes. on the panel oh, with man. us. But uh, we did want to express because Amy's been expressing a lot right. about uh, what she's been going through with it on her Facebook page. So we wanted to talk a little bit about that to our other people that are watching out there. Um, it, you've had some experiences with it. I've had a lot, yeah. Um, so talk a little bit about uh, the bad experiences that could happen with silicone. So when we got it, nowadays there's so much more you can do. But when we were growing up, you know, I'm 50, which is about um, <laughs> like Amy, and we Big were older. Sister. We were older, and you know, I mean, back in the day, you couldn't go get implants if you, you know, if unless you were a true woman, they wouldn't do anything. So we got silicone, you know, and I've I have it literally from my head to the floor so and the, you know you get pain it's it's it like rots inside you i think right. you know and it's not like silicone like legal it's like milkshake uh lubricant you know silicone based it's like food based silicone so they like buy it at you know a local there's been a lot of girls that have died yeah you know they buy it at a local hardware store and then you know i mean i know how to do it i could do all of y'all but then Ooh. you know I mean, it's just from watching so many times other girls get it done, you know, and, and it looks good for a while, but then that's inside your body and you can't just take it out. And to get it out is a huge, you know, I mean, you have to find the right doctor because most doctors, when you go to them, they're, um, no, I can't, you know, because they're scared to touch it. They don't, right. you know, they don't know what it is. This is a topic that we're going to be continually to touch on. In fact, we're going to actually have a plastic surgeon on the show that's going to Talk to us a little bit about removal, of course, of uh, silicone because there's so many people that are like, what are you supposed to do? And there's a lot of doctors I've been in contact this whole week not getting responses back from plastic surgeons because it's it's kind of a taboo thing that people don't really want to talk yeah. about because they don't really know the exact way, I don't think, to get it all out because yeah. after so many years, it forms in your body. 
and it turns into like a gel type substance yeah. so when they try to scrape it out of your body it breaks into pieces and it goes all through your bloodstream yeah it's very yeah. dangerous no it's, it's very you're dangerous. talking one thing about you know when you we started but wasn't it just two years ago we had a uh one of the performers here in tampa bay that was getting a procedure and she died died yeah. just died so this is happening now and that was two years ago that that happened and it's and it's kind of seems like we don't really talk about it enough and it's out there it still happens it's still going on people are still injecting themselves and having these underground parties and hotel rooms and yeah. still having this stuff done our it's business is very very competitive you have to stay up on it if you get a wrinkle you have to try to get it taken care of if you get you know you have to do everything to try to keep because we have four entertainers that work full-time here there's 400 here that want that job so it's very it's like the movie showgirls they are literally waiting for you know one to fall down the stairs you know we don't thank god we don't have stairs here but um that's what they're waiting for you know the the next right. gig, it's it's a good gig you know when you do what we do you know you can't just go anywhere they don't do this at olive garden so right. to be able to entertain and to be what we are especially when you're transsexual it's really hard so everybody's looking at this so that's why people take you know chances and they're like i need to get this i need to get better you know because we're always competing you know we spend every penny on costumes every penny on you know to, to be the best that we can be or try to be better than the other girl you know not that we're trying to outdo them but we just everybody wants to be the best and well, i think the reason why people do that too it's a lot cheaper than going to a plastic surgeon I no mean, we can't afford i mean we only make a certain amount of money so we can't go to a place but we can go and get that in you know ethel's kitchen yeah <laughs> oh, okay. right, right yeah exactly and there's other things that you should save your money because in the long run it's going to cost you just way as much more. if not yeah, more, more. Um, to go to a real plastic surgeon there's other injectables you can do there's botox there's collagen there's i mean there's so many different ones yeah. by now real there's so license. many you really should like do your homework well, do before you your do homework anything. don't Definitely. trust me i've had i've had it done and if i could go back and do it again i personally would not do it again i wouldn't either um, ever it's just it's just too risky and there's too many things that go wrong with it yeah. so with that being said please get well soon amy we miss you and you know, by the way amy is miss uh miss amy de milo is our grand marshal for tampa pride 2019 Ooh. so again our wishes too to go yep. through there and tampa get well oh a tater tot to you oh, <laughs> aren't they great so i gotta tell you nico i do not in as a rule eat green foods now this is not green but it is green on the inside it's green on the inside <laughs> this is addictive this is Isn't it? really it should be the sauce. opposite it's, though it's what is amazing. this sauce here this is it's just i a, would come here just for this it's just a horseradish ranch sauce mm -hmm. oh i love made from scratch you know back in the kitchen with our kitchen chef and yeah it's just it's something that we only have here at our location uh you won't find it at um brandon's location we like to Try to stay unique and, and different and, you know, change it up every once in a while, which we're actually going to be um, changing our menu here soon. Uh, and we're coming out with a new lunch menu, um, which is going to be amazing. Uh, we're actually going to be finalizing that tomorrow and hopefully it'll be out uh, starting next week. So uh, I would say come out and check for that. Mm, you know, I can't wait. Really good. Really Each good Mary's has like one or two little things. It's like their different, signature yeah. that's yeah. different. That's we a have, good signature. Yeah, we right. have like um, sunshine nachos here, mm -hmm. and they're, they're nachos with shrimp on them. They're, and chorizo. Mm, and chorizo. Yeah. They are yeah. incredible. How long have you been working here for? Um, I've been here for a, about two years. I was here for a year, and then I went back to Iowa for a little bit, and then I came back. I've been here now um, like two more it's almost Iowa. been a year Ooh. how was that living Iowa. in Iowa wasn't yeah. that where the potatoes grow and all that no it's corn you're oh, in Idaho oh, you're Idaho. 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 I need more tea <laughs> no. my specialty yeah. yeah that's a different state corn mm. there's nothing there girl it's freezing cold no, I'm, I'm at 55 below zero last week I don't think that. yeah whoa that's everybody here is like oh my god it's so then cold. there's a wind chill about that yeah it, <laughs> and it just was, so everybody knows that isn't in Florida it's 75 degrees outside. It is it's gorgeous, gorgeous today. Oh, yeah. Not it's rubbing beautiful. it in, yeah, but today it is. Beautiful. Yeah. And we have a big parade coming up. Oh. Yes, we do. Mm, the night, night parade in Ybor City. That's Exciting. a big thing. Yes, it's going to be tonight. This and thing. who's so, going to be the Grand Marshal of that? Um, 
Let's see. I do not know. Oh, they always are, bring in. Are we in it? Is uh, Tampa Pride in it? Uh, no, Tampa nope. Pride's not in this okay. one. But uh, they do have. Uh, Usually from uh, the local TV station has the Grand Marshal. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and right. I, I don't know who that is. Yeah, that's exactly you know, they've had uh, different ones all the way through. So, so I have a question yeah. for you, Carrie, on oh, the yes. Mr. and Miss Tampa Pride pageant. Yeah. How do people get involved in that? So we know how you've got to fall off a stair to get into Hamburger Mary's, <laughs> but how do the people get into the Tampa Pride? Great question pageant. because you know, besides getting um, the money. The purse of winning Mr. or Miss Tampa Pride, you also are guaranteed shows throughout the Tampa Bay area for around six or seven clubs. So you have that, plus you get recognition in the parade, uh, the parade which is humongous, and then also it goes into other parades also. So you get to um, ride in the parade. You right? are riding yeah. in them, yep, you get to celebrate and be in the parade. And a beautiful crown, and you get yes. jewelry. The prize package is really nice. And anyone can do it. The the myth, you can be a, a genetic woman, you can be a um, female impersonator, and same with the mister. Yeah, you can be a, a drag king to yeah. be a mister, or anyone can anybody can participate. So how did I just so, did that this year. Tampapride.org, and there, it's right there on the sign-up sheet for being and competing in the contest. All righty. Plus, you get to go in all the, the parties that are coming up. We have a lot of parties that you know about, so our yes. gala, for all the uh, grand marshals and then also besides that we have our vip parties coming up also before tampa pride on the 30th so Excellent. come on down make sure you get your hotel rooms early is there any, cool. any place you suggest to stay um <clears throat> hampton inn right there in ybor city okay and the marriott waterside and also down there at the godfrey which is right there, the Godfrey Hotel. Right Those there. are all gay friendly hotels. Very in much and supporting Tampa Pride. And they'll fill up more, quick. Right? Uh, well, some of them are all oh, getting there right now. I'm just letting you know, they are almost filled up. What's competing this year is we have a major convention going on the same time. So uh, the Sheraton is filled up. We also have a lot of the Marriott is almost all filled up. Uh, the Embassy Suites and everything downtown. So. Anyway, it'll be over the top this year. We're very, very excited about it. Speaking so. of special events that are going on, one of our major sponsors with uh, True Tea today is actually the Seafood Festival here in St. Petersburg. They're here for three days. They started last oh, wow. night. So they're downtown St. Petersburg. They are open until 10 p.m. It's free entry. They have everything from fresh shrimp to crab to lobster. I mean, you name it. Wow. This festival rolls. has it. it is the seafood festival it's got live music i think they do like four or five different shows all day long and like i said it's absolutely free only thing you got to pay for is obviously the shrimp and the seafood that you choose that you want from the different vendors that are out there and um it's a great great uh project that they're doing out here they support locals and i'm so excited to be a part of it they've done stuff in sarasota and st pete and I think Boca is their next stop, and then they'll be back uh, in Tampa next weekend. So, um, yeah, that's what's going on. You got to check it out. On. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And the State Fair. Oh, yeah, that's coming up. Yes, it's starting here this, this weekend. Right. This weekend, State Fair for a big run. So, then the Strawberry Festival. Yeah. Ooh. St. Patrick's Day, and then Tampa Pride. That's right. Yeah, it's coming up. Oh, a lot of events. Right a lot around. of great events out there absolutely so we also have a big election coming up that's very important to us here. yes very so much so i mean uh the election in tampa we right now in fact there's two more people that have just entered the race so i think this is it's really filling up and there's probably going to be um that have filled up for the contention of being the mayor of tampa for the next successful eight years um is coming up on here in march 6th so that'll be a major changeover our favorite governor uh governor he should be governor but our favorite mayor bob buckhorn his last day will be in the tampa pride parade that is his last wow. day now he was really and really is, really an activist with very, the gay community right uh, yes he was yeah yes, i did was. remember hearing that yeah and uh in fact he stood up in mark and and my our kind of wedding celebration so we're grateful for, for him so who's taking his place one of those eight or nine uh, people 
spill the tea though dude oh I mean, well there's some craziness with that right I mean, I, there I, always is i'm politics. seeing yeah i see that there you know jane castor has been a police chief of tampa for a long time uh, i think her reign was nine years and and it's gay did, we and she has to be lesbian yes yes well yeah openly and the other one has got is ed tranchik's done very well uh, he is a very much of a transportation and has always worked for transportation. He's been on a lot of the county commissions. Um, we're looking at other brand new newcomers out there. Uh, LaVon King. In fact, I met him. How I met him was that uh, I was using an Uber and he picked me up and he said, well, I'm running for Tampa mayor. I said, you are? And he said, yes. He said, I want to go out there for two months of work and find out what the people are really acting and thinking. And he said, that's the best way to get out there and let them know and then I'm going door to door. The other ones out there we have out there is Harry Cohen and Mike Suarez and, of course, Joe Greco. And um, who else am I missing? Oh, my goodness. A uh, good friend out there is David Straz. Wow. You know, mm -hmm. David Straz at the Straz Center and mm -hmm. a lot of things out there. We have a lot of. And it, it, it's bouncing. I mean, the, po the, the polls are just kind of pulsating. And uh, so I don't know. I really don't. And right. usually have a good pulse on what's going on. But it's such a great group of people running for mayor for Tampa. The successful is, is just going to continually climb. It's so I'll make on. predictions. Oh, well, I, 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 I have I'm to stay guessing. Switzerland. But you guys <laughs> you, can. You can be Switzerland. I will be me. Okay, so my prediction is that there are so many candidates that we're going to go to a runoff. Nobody's well, going true. to That's automatic. They know that. that. We've, we've, we've no one's going to get 51%. And I think oh, that's that. going to be okay. between Jane mm -hmm. and Harry. Harry Cohen. Or oh. Harry Cohen. I, that's, that would be my <laughs> two top <laughs> picks. And when that happens, I think it's going to be... Jane Caster. Wow. You really seem to keep up with all this, huh? I do. God, well, I mean, my you know, head is about to blow if, up. I can't keep you up with it if all. If you haven't registered to vote yet, we're coming to your house and going, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it, and because it's important. Who's your pick? Jane Caster. All right, Jane Caster it but is. And Jane, are you a Jane? I'm Switzerland. Oh. He's Switzerland. Switzerland. Uh, We've I'm, talked. I've had, all, talked about I've had a lot of the candidates all in our house and know them very well. And uh, good friends. What about you, Miss Dina? I don't know any of them. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at her saying, know, are you as lost as me? Because no, I, mean, I need to talk to thing Jesus is, though, about that. I always think that like a woman's going to do better. I don't know why. So like I would vote for Jane just because they're all men. And then I would vote for her just to be different. And what about you? Uh, oh, Rick. I yeah, same you know? boat with you guys. I don't know any of those yeah, people. I'm, I'm just... Just yeah. go have a little talk with Jesus that yeah. day. Oh, right. well, well, the, the, the mail-in ballots are already out. Are already out. They're already We've got them already. So uh, I think that's going to be the big race. But there are also a bunch of city council seats on there. Right. And <laughs> which then, I'm not running for. You, you're not. <laughs> no, I, I was trying, gone. I was a gone. Still one time. And but here's, I'm busy. Here's my you, dilemma. With the shows is, here. With the well, shows I know here. all of the candidates like you for mayor. I don't know any of the candidates. I never heard of any of the candidates for city council. Well, we have two openly gay people that are running for uh, Tampa City Council. Really? Yeah, Alan Clendenin and Ella Coffey. Oh. Both running in different districts. Okay, there. it's two boxes One and I five. can check yes. off. Yes. No, I, I did not throw my hat in. I keep my hat on this time. So. Did you run before? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you've run before? Oh, yes. Oh. Yeah. Two different districts. Same okay. house, two different districts. So you like the politics. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good thing, good. you ain't got no bad mud to sling because that's what they like to do oh. you know, when you're running. When you go through and you have to go through an FBI check, and I've done that in, in my service days when I was in the military, and then going on from there. So a lot yeah, of people try throwing some of the other people sometimes. you're running against, they, they put all kinds of craziness out there, right? They do, but then all of a sudden you have to go through and just show them that they're nonsense. Then all of a sudden people say, well, they're making nonsense of that. What else are they not telling the truth upon? Oh, they're see. rumors. And that's yeah. a good point. So look out. If you start hearing rumors and start seeing someone throwing mud, yeah, look at the other candidates. There's probably a lot of truth to it and or that there's a lot of lies to what the other person are trying to tell them. So. Speaking of rumors, yeah. let's talk about the rumor to my left. You said something earlier that was so funny. I, was, I have to share it. Somebody asked you, were you single, right, or something about being in a relationship? What was that about dragging somebody through the... 
Did you, were, are you in a relationship? No, girl. I like being single. I ride, <laughs> drive my own car, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got time for them boys. Girl, when you get to a certain age, yeah, you're married. You ain't got well, time for him. You I'm, said the only time you'd want somebody unless you, you took them and drug them or something, pulled them in or... You said something earlier. Oh, I don't I even know peed. what I said. Oh, yeah. my God, I about peed my They said, did you get a man? I said, girl, the only one I'm going to get is the one that's passed out on my porch that I drag in the house. <laughs> <laughs> well, well I, so I do want to say, you make a mention, uh, it's going to be our 42nd anniversary tomorrow. Mark and mine. Wow. People wow. know him as Teacup and myself. Oh, so it's 197 years in gay years. Yeah. Well, I got, but you were we're still looking for the right Mr. Right, both of us are. Yeah, <laughs> you'll find him one day. One day! <laughs> no, we're, we're very, very happy and everything. So excited, I mean, this has just been going on. You, and all of a sudden you say, well, at one stage of your life when you're young, you say, oh, I love you so much, I love you so much. But then all of a sudden you're kind of like, I love you more than when way back then. <laughs> I don't know. It's just more of a thing. It's a, well, back then you didn't need him. Now you, now you're like, I'm gonna wow, need, yeah. I'm gonna need him to help me up these stairs yeah. eventually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's why he, that's why he got the two-story house. See? So the last time we were here at Hamburger Mary's yeah. in St. Pete, I jokingly said to Nico, "Uh oh, he's blushing. Oh, he's no, blushing. No, I'm, I'm looking over there." Oh, yeah. I, I, I jokingly <laughs> said to Nico we were going to talk about his sex life, oh. and he Ooh. said. I have no problem with that. So the next time we're at Hamburger Mary St. Pete, you got to come out because we're going to talk about Nico's sex life next time. Next Absolutely. Time. Speaking about next time, Ooh. we've actually got some really big things that are coming up. Some of our other affiliates have welcomed me to do some other things, and we can't wait to be bringing you some big surprises in the next coming weeks. We're also, I hear, going to be taking a gander at one of the biggest states over in Ebor City to my Would that be the Rainbow Plantation? Hmm. And what about that big car that sits outside? What's that thing Ooh, called? Priscilla? Miss Priscilla. Princess Priscilla, by the way. Absolutely. So we can't wait because we've been hearing all the construction slowing down because it's about ready to be completed, right? We, we just had uh, Tampa Bay Times come in and so you'll see it in uh, the Sunday's paper. Uh, a little layout of our little plantation. Absolutely. So gonna be we'll be bringing in. you some some stuff from that location mm -hmm. soon. All right, that's going to bring the segment ten end, right? It, All right. it has to because I've eaten most of the green beans. <laughs> <laughs> and now I have to start um, the, the balls. balls. The balls. Yeah, we know you love the balls, I Dave. Do. I do. I do. I do. All right. So we raise our cup to you, and hey. we'll see you again when we're spilling the tea. One, One cup, cup at a time. time. Goodbye.